What is up, everybody? This is Lyle No Hippie Trucking and Transportation. Me and my son are on the way to pick up my truck from the Denver drop yard, take it out to uh, Peterbilt to get some maintenance done on it. But, you know, something just came to my mind and it kind of made me reflect on some things that happened in my past. So we're just driving by this, uh, you know, getting on the highway and we see like this, I don't want to call it a homeless camp because I don't know how many people live there or not, but, uh, you know, it definitely looked like they tried to have the setup, you know what I'm saying? And it's kind of like off of the highway, kind of in the cut a little bit, but very visible from the highway. And this, whoever's living there looked like they got a little bit too comfortable with the situation, you know what I'm saying? I mean, they had the they had like damn near furniture set up like you know that was their house and you know I wasn't even thinking about it at the time but I told my son when we drove by there I was like you know what that motherfucker's a little bit too comfortable with their situation and it kind of made me think about what your minimums are you know what I'm saying and what you need to do or, or basically the fact that you always need to raise your minimums. I remember when I was going through my situation and everything and, you know, I'd kind of gone off on my own and tried to do my whole mortgage thing and got caught, you know, with my pants down and not necessarily ready to, to do what I needed to do. And I was in a bad financial position for a while. And I remember that I was at that point at a certain point so low that uh, you know I had to set that low as my bar and I can I can clearly remember that as soon as I got like ten thousand dollars in the bank after I paid all my bills you know that was like an accomplishment but I had to keep raising my you know raising my bottom from that you know what I'm saying like ten thousand dollars right now if I had that if that was all I had in the bank, I would feel like extremely naked. You know what I'm saying? And you always have to keep kind of raising that bar. You know what I'm saying? I was talking to somebody that was in, that's currently in a similar situation. Well, not currently. This is going back about eight months. And they were negative in their lease at Prime. And I, I just told them, man, you know, when I was going through my financial situations... I just had to put my head down and take one step at a time and just clearly like always like move forward you know what I'm saying and then once you get to you know once you get to that next level make that be your bottom and keep going up from there you know what I'm saying and I think that a lot of people and I did it like I said it in just my last video I, I did go through a tight part when I was in the mortgage industry but for the most part, I made a very good living at it. And I would say that I did above average. But the difference between the people lower than me and the people that were above me was the ceiling that each of us set. There were a lot of people that even at the best of my, you know, at the height of my mortgage career would have looked at that as their bottom. You know what I'm saying? So it's always, you know, trying to trying to raise that level up. You know what I'm saying? I think that's why they call it leveling up. You know, you're going to keep raising that bottom up uh, to push yourself even further. But uh, just wanted to kind of get this random video out there since it was just something that came to mind. And one thing I will say that's kind of on a different note, when it comes to this mortgage or this... Uh, trucking thing you know I don't mind giving money to people you know what I'm saying I have a hard time giving money to people that you know to me if I'm going to give money to people and I don't care what you plan on using the money for that's the funny thing about it but when people are you know it's like I don't really care what people use the money for but to me I almost feel like I'm investing in somebody and if I'm going to give somebody some money that clearly has no desire to get past that point that's just a bad investment so 
I really prefer if you can find them, they're hard to find. Find somebody that actually has something beyond just staying on the side of the road asking for money. You know what I mean? That's hard to find. But, uh, you know, normally I find those in people that aren't necessarily at that point. You know, and it could be just people that have, you know, that are working that aren't necessarily. For example, and this is going to go on to long thing. Well, you know what? That's a totally different video. That's a whole video in itself that I may or may not ever get to. But I used to, uh, used to uh, every time around Christmas, kind of sponsor. Basically, they were single mothers back in the day, and I would take them out and and uh, buy them and their kid. Well, primarily their kids' Christmas presents and stuff like that. But these were people out there that were already trying to grind. And make their situation better you know if, if it would have just been somebody out there asking for some free shit that uh, had no desire to move forward in their life it's a little bit harder to give that money up but anyway that video kind of dragged on a little bit longer than I wanted to but my point is always raise that always raise that floor you know what I'm saying because you don't want to be always operating at the lower end of what you're capable of doing. I'd like to thank you guys. Stop by. No hippie trucking transportation. As always, comment, subscribe. I'm out.